hello everyone welcome to a new video and in this video we are going to make a voice recorder application for android so let's get started at first i'll design the layout of our activity main.xml so for this application we are going to use the um, tab layout with view pager so for this i'm going to change the root layout of the activity main to coordinator layout I'll change the background of this layout to color black and then from inside this coordinator layout I'll change this text view and here I'll add a new app bar layout which comes under the material library and here for the width I'll pass match parent and for the height I'll pass wrap content so now I'll give this app bar layout a theme also so for the theme i'll pass style dot theme style slash theme dot app compare dot deny dot dark action bar and then inside this app bar layout i'm going to create a new toolbar so for the toolbar we're going to use the android x toolbar and here for the width i'll pass match parent and for the height attribute slash action bar size so that will get the default action bar size for the height and then i'll give this toolbar an id also i'll call this toolbar i'll change the background color of this toolbar to color black i'll give this toolbar a title also so for the title let's pass the app name here i'll change the title text color also uh, title text color title text color and for the title text color let's create a new color here so i'll go to the values folder and here for the colors.xml i'll create a new color here i'll name this color as cyan and for the value of that color i'll pass hash 51 e1 ed okay and now let's go back to the activity main.xml and here i'll call the color at the red color slash cyan okay let's zoom into the layout i'll give this toolbar some attributes also so i'll change the layout um, underscore scroll flags to scroll and enter always I'll change the pop-up theme also and so for the pop-up theme I'll call the at the rate style slash app compare dot uh, theme dot app compare dot day night and then under this uh, toolbar I'll add our new tab layout so let's close this toolbar here and under this I'm going to create our tab layout which also will come under the material library and here for the width of our tab layout i'll pass match parent and for the height i'll pass wrap content i'll also give this tab layout an id i'll call this tab layout i'll change the tab indicator color to color cyan that we created i'll change the tab indicator height to let's say 2dp i'll change the background of our tab layout to color black i'll add the tab gravity to fill and also the tab text color to color cyan i'll apply the tab mode to be fixed so that was for our tab layout and now outside of this app bar layout i'm going to add the view pager for our fragments so here i'm going to add a view pager uh, view pager android x dot view pager dot widget and here for the width i'll pass match parent for the height i'll pass match parent all right and i'll also give this view pager an id i'll call this view pager i'll change its layout underscore behavior to uh, com dot google dot android dot material dot app bar dot app bar layout and scrolling view behavior 
so that was it now we are done with our activity main.xml layout now we can open our java class which is the main activity.java and here i'll quickly define some objects for our toolbar tab layout and view pager private toolbar we for the toolbar we need to select the android x so i'll create an object called toolbar and then for the view pager i'll call this view pager and then for the tab layout i'll call this tab layout now i need to initialize them inside the on create view so for the toolbar i'll pass find view by id r dot id dot toolbar for the view pager find view by id r dot id dot view pager and then for the tab layout r dot id dot tab layout all right now i'll set the toolbar as our action bar so let's set support action bar and here i'll pass our toolbar so now to get rid of the default action bar we need to go to the themes and here as you can see the theme is called uh, at the end dark action bar i'll change this to uh, no action bar oops no action bar all right and now we are going to work with our view pagers and for that we need to create an adapter so here i'm going to create a new package i'll call this adapters so inside this adapter package i'll create a new java class i'll call this view pager adapter now here i'll make this extends fragment pager adapter it's showing error so we need to implement some methods here let's click on ok so here we have two methods and now inside this uh, we have also another error because we need to create a constructor so I'll click here and hit on ok all right now here i'll define some array list so at first i'll write private final array list of fragment and i'll call this fragments equals new array list and similarly i'll create another one where i'll store the titles so private final array list of that will be string and i'll call this frag title equals new array list all right now for the get item method instead of returning null we'll return fragments dot get and i'll pass the position here and for the get count i'll pass fragments dot size okay so now here i'll create another method i'll call this public void i'll name this add fragment and here we'll pass a fragment and then we'll pass a string for the title all right so i'll make the fragment sorry fragments dot add and here i'll pass the fragment and then for the title i'll call the frag title dot add and here i'll pass the uh, sorry title okay and now to get the page title we need to override another method so i'll call the method called get page title 
okay so here i'll delete this uh, return super and i'll write frag title dot get and i'll pass the position here okay and we need to return this okay so that was our view pager adapter now let's go back to the main activity dot java here so now here i'll create another method to set up our view pager so i'll call private void setup view pager and here for the parameter i'll pass a view pager view pager view pager okay and inside this um, method i'll call our view pager adapter create an object view pager adapter equals new view pager adapter and here i'll pass the get support fragment manager and then i'm going to add two fragments here so in order to add the fragments let's create them first so at first i'll create the layout file for our fragments so i'm going to create a new uh, layout resource file here i'll call this fragment underscore recorder and for the layout uh, let's change the constraint to linear layout and inside this linear layout for the demo purpose i'll add a text view here i'll set the width to match parent height wrap content and for the text i'll pass recorder text size let's set this to 30 sp and i'll also change the background color of our linear layout to color black and for the text color i'll pass color cyan okay and let's also change the text alignment to be center okay so maybe now that looks fine okay so similarly i'll create another one so i'll select that click ctrl c and ctrl v and this time i'll change the name to fragment recordings okay and for the recordings here we need to just change the text to recordings all right now we need to create the classes for our fragment so for this i'll create another new package here i'll call this fragments and insert the fragments i'll create a new java class i'll call this recorder fragment fragment and here i'll make this extends fragment and inside here i'll create a view object and i'll override the on create view okay so now for the on create view here uh, i'll delete this uh, line and here i'll call view equals inflator dot inflate r dot layout dot the layout for our recorder fragment was fragment underscore recorder comma container comma false all right and then i'll return this view okay so similarly i'll copy the recorder fragment ctrl c ctrl v and i'll change the name now to recording recordings fragment okay so here we need to just change the layout file from fragment recorder to fragment recordings okay maybe we missed a semicolon here so we need to add that on both of the fragments all right so now our fragment classes are ready let's go back to the main activity.java now and here we can add those fragments so i'll call the view pager adapter object dot add fragment and here we need to create our new fragment so for the 
parameter of the add fragment method we need to pass a fragment so i'll pass the new uh, let's pass the recorder fragment first and for the title i'll pass recorder and similarly i'll add another fragment so view pager dot add fragment and here this time i'll pass new record recordings fragment and for the title i'll pass recordings all right now we can uh, set the adapter to our view pager so i'll call view pager dot set adapter and here i'll pass the view pager adapter all right so now we need to call this method in our on create method so here i'm going to write setup view pager and here i'll pass the view pager okay and now i'll populate with our tab layout so tab layout dot setup with view pager and here i'll pass the view pager okay so maybe our program is uh, ready for the view pager let's try to run this okay so as you can see our app has now opened and here we have our tab layout which already containing the recorder fragment at first if we click on the recordings then it will show the recordings fragment okay so our view pager with fragments is now working fine so inside this recorder fragment we will implement the voice recorder and inside the recordings uh, fragment we will show all the recorded files in a recycler view and we'll do that in the part two of this video if you have any confusion regarding this video then you can comment down below and thank you so much for watching